neutered. A lot of you cats, when you wonder why you're not getting up and fighting and doing what you got to do, it's because they clipped your nuts. And I don't mean they clipped your nuts like, you know what I'm saying, like uh, walnuts. I'm talking about clipped your nuts like they took your, your balls and your manhood like they do a dog. You understand what I mean? They took your ability to reproduce. And in most of you cases, it's the ability to produce. When you think about starting a business, you think about all these other things that you need to do. You, you put all this shit in front of you. So let me give you a good example. I don't come from the bottom. I come from Compton. You know that. Plenty of fucking podcasts saying that. Compton, Compton, Compton. Get it through your head, homie. West Side Compton, too. Make sure you know West Side. But the thing is, I grew up where we learned how to make money with nothing. So if somebody said, hey, Freeman, we can, I found a hustle where we can make a dollar an hour every hour. Right? Some of y'all say, man, that's stupid. That's bullshit. You know what I mean? But I'm thinking, man, man, man. 25 a day, I made 24 a day. 10 days, 240. All right, 30 days. Was that $750 a month? I'm thinking, that's cool. I'm good with the 750, homie. Like, let's make a move on that shit. Right? But some of you cats who didn't grow up like me, man, what the fuck a dollar an hour gonna do? That's less than minimum wage, man. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, man, I wouldn't do that. It's not even worth my time. Now, you over here ruling out money, you broke motherfucker. The only reason why you not you, you think that you can rule it out is because you think your intelligence is going to make more money. You actually think it's a waste of your time when you don't got a dime right fucking now. Right? And then when you do think about a business, you think about all that shit you're going to have to go through. I got to jump through hurdles. I got to do this. Even when I put up the reasons to get a corporation and all that shit, it's just to make sure my, 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 my brothers who, who hustle know how to legitimize their shit. That's all. That's all I was doing. I ain't trying to stop you from hustling. In fact, start to hustle and later start the corporation. Because God knows we ain't here to put our, to say, you know what I'm saying, uh, Freeman Inc. I'm here to make Freeman money. You dig what I'm saying? What I'm trying to get at it with you being neutered is they have taken the uh, ability for you to reproduce on your own away from you. So now if you want puppies, you got to go to the pet store. When the average brother in the hood, we got our own dogs and we will make our own puppies. You see what I'm saying? When, since you don't have any nuts and you are neutered in this game, when you think about how you're going to make money, you think about what kind of job you can get. When I think about making money, I think about what product I can sell. You understand what I'm saying? When I have a problem meeting women, I say I need to meet more women. When you think you can't meet women, you go and get advice from motherfuckers who say they know how to get women. You're neutered. You cannot produce for yourself. You are naked. You look like a motherfucking Ken doll. It is smooth down there. Nothing. You dig what I'm saying? And that's why your shit don't work. Because you're neutered in this game. And you tell everyone, oh no. And then you come around saying all this educated shit like I tell my nephew all the time. You know, education for most of these dumb motherfuckers is the ability to say the same words and more complicated. So if I call a piece of shit dookie and you call it fecal matter, it's still shit. It didn't help none for you to know that motherfucking word. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, you know. who the fuck walk around talking about fecal matter? It's like in the movie Malcolm X. Oh, you know, you got to read every book and the thing. That's so you can speak well. But to the people on the bottom, he didn't have to speak well for us. We understood it already. That's where slang comes from. Slang is the ability or the, the, the need for people with limited communication to come up with words to describe the situation. Again, an unneutered way of, of solving a problem. We have nuts. We figure shit out. And when you grew up, they took that ability away from you. So when you go into a job and you think you need more money, you think about proving it to them. When I go into a job, I'm just thinking I'm here to make money. And when there's more money to be made, I ain't going to sit here waiting for these motherfuckers to recognize me. They got some bullshit timetable. Well, you know, you haven't had enough experience. I'm doing everything that the other motherfucker does. What do I need to be here? Seven years? Well, yeah, you know, that's just wasting my time. You got to understand the difference. When they took your ability to produce for yourself away, what they left you with is the ability to beg. The same as a motherfucking dog. You ever seen a dog, a wild dog, 
he might not be as fat as the other dog or a wild cat. He might not be as fat as the other cat, but he has the ability to hunt. You see cats running around, they call them alley cats, right? But the alley cats can eat rats and mice and it feeds for himself and it fends for himself. You can't tame the alley cat, some of you try. And he thinks it's to his uh, benefit to be uh, to be fed, but the alley cat is the alley cat. It's also called being wild. You understand know what I'm saying? When you have a dog, a dog naturally in its natural state would feed just like a coyote, just like a fox, but since you domesticated it, in other words, you neutered it and you taught it how not to do its natural instincts. You have natural instincts of saying, this shit is going to rain. You ain't waiting around for motherfuckers to give you an umbrella. You ain't going to walk out in the rain and hope that motherfuckers give you one. You understand what I'm saying? But since some of you motherfuckers are so stupid, when shit is happening, you think God must want me to suffer. That shit is stupid. You're neutered. You have the you have no ability to correct yourself, to provide for yourself, to do for self. So you're fucking neutered. And I bring this up primarily to explain to you that is so entrenched in your thinking that this is the hurdle you have to start a business. The hurdle has been taught and pushed into you and trained into you since you were a little kid. See, it's no different from when you're a kid and you're, let's say, from age 5 to 12. You do everything your parents and you try to please them. You come home and you put your paintings on the goddamn refrigerator and say, look, mama, look what I did. Somewhere around 12 to 13, you switch over and you stop saying, mom, look what I did. Because you naturally want to become a man, a woman. It comes up no matter what. I want to do my own. I want to hang out on my own. I want to do this. And they restrict you. And since you are cannot do for yourself at this moment, you abide by the rules of the house. But then you get out and you go to college and then you say, and you still haven't become a man because you still don't know how to take care of yourself. And now you say, well, I am a man because I'm doing, no, you're not. And then you walk into the next thing and then you get a job. And then you have a new daddy. And then you learn the laws and the rules of the new daddy. If I please him, then I can get this job. If I please him, then I can get this day off. If I show that I work hard, if I do some overtime, if, I, if I'm if i a teammate, all these words that y'all know about hustle that don't pertain to hustle, it pertain to slavery and plantation thinking. Who the hell who hustles need to be a goddamn team player? Where the fuck did that come from when it comes to a motherfucker doing for self? These dudes are my vendors. They supply the product. I push a product. I need staples. I go to staples to get staples. That motherfucker, I ain't a team player with staples. He gave me staples so I can staple my papers and make more paper. That's what hustle is about. That's what not being neutered about. But guess whatever. You know what? Uh, we're going to need to get an account with staples because they're going to help us with our credit and our credit is going to rise up because then people will give us more because we have good credit and you know what I'm saying and then I just got to get my credit up Freeman you know what I'm saying how do I get my credit up I don't know motherfucker I got to tell you all the thing all the time get a gas car keep paying off your gas thing and keep going that sucker ass way and you'll find out I mean it works but you're neutered they took the ability for you to do for self away from you to reproduce, to have children, to have those children uh, mine your farm and grow your farm so they can have children so you can have crops to sell at the market. They took that away from you. So when you see a kid now, you see it as a burden because you say, I got to take care of this kid because you don't want to train your kid to be a benefit to you, to be an asset to you, to be your, your heir apparent. You, you look at, oh man, you know, you know how teenagers are. No, I don't know how teenagers are. That's your in inability to train him to be a young man. Your inability to train your daughter to be a young woman. See, when you're black, and I want to say this because I don't, plum don't give a fuck. When you're black, the goal of most of these dumb blacks is to be white. So when you hear someone say, oh, they got terrible, you know, he in the terrible twos. Black people don't have terrible twos. We hit our kids. He ain't doing that shit. I don't care if you too. Black people don't have their kids walking around on extension cords saying, don't touch this. You get smacked in your fucking head. I did. If I touch something, my mother, we, we're going in this store. Don't you touch anything. If I put my hand out there, I got smacked in the goddamn head. Right? Because we don't have no time to be letting you be white kids in this shit. Right? Because I had to abide by the rules. And I got punished for it. Right? But I wasn't neutered. I understood my role and I understood that. But as I got older, 
I got more opportunities to do more. Not like you scary motherfuckers who never caught a bus in your life. Not like you scary motherfuckers who, who if you can't, uh, you know, if I'm uncomfortable, I don't want to do it. Not all you motherfuckers got goddamn self-esteem mental issues because no one, everyone is taking your nuts. When you're a kid, this is the awkward phase because they're giving you your nuts. Your nuts are dropping and you're supposed to be trying to take it on. But when you get older and your nuts still haven't dropped, you walk around like a Freddy cat. Oh, don't listen to Freeman. You know what I'm saying? Uh, every time you talk about these MLMs, and, and, I, and uh, you know, you always call them like you a devil and you evil and you taking advantage of people. Don't listen to them because look how many people we got together. And we all hang together. And look at the cars we got. And we all shake hands. And look who came to speak to us. Goddamn followers. Shouldn't you be mad? That you sit and listen to other motherfuckers who are great so many motherfucking times. And you never do this shit for yourself. Shouldn't it be a natural rebellion in you? That says I'm tired of being behind motherfuckers. I ain't in church. So you ain't gonna, you know, in order to be a good leader, you need to be a good follower. Shut the fuck up, white Jesus believer. I don't want to believe that old dumb shit. In order to be a good leader. Yeah, you waiting your turn in line. That's what they telling you. Pacify your bitch ass, your neutered ass. Don't be number one, be number two. Because we have you haven't proven to us that you need to be number one. And don't go out there and start your own church. Because if you start your own church, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be real hard for you to get all the people. And then, you know, nine out of ten churches fail. And, man, fuck you, you fag. You got to understand that it's in you to be this person. It's in a dog to hunt. It's in a cat to hunt. It's in us to hunt. And that's why they never want any of us coming up from the bottom because we are hunters. We grew up in the hunted and the hunters. I grew up with the money, flipping the money, understanding the money way before I got a job, way before they brainwash you, before they introduced the shit that didn't make no sense. I'm over here making McDonald's millions of dollars. I'm getting paid fucking five dollars. It didn't make no sense for me then. And my boy who was with me was over there stealing money from the cash register because he understood it way better than me. Right? Like, goddamn, they letting us hold the cash. Why don't we put some of this shit in our pocket? Fuck that check. That's just going to supplement the hustle. I didn't see that. My boy did. I was too clean cut. I was like, oh man, you know, I don't want, I don't want to go to hell. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to disappoint Jesus. You know what I'm saying? But as I got older, I thought, oh, shit. These motherfuckers getting me. You know what I'm saying? Billions and billions are served, and I got four hundred dollars. Billions and billions served, and I, I I I get I gotta pay half price or one third price, two thirds price for a Big Mac. It ain't gonna, like I said. Like I told everybody, a uh, a uh, uh, a middle class person takes forty years before they realize they a sucker. A lower class person, forty minutes to forty seconds, depending on how long you've been in this game. How low to the ground you were when you understood it. You know what I'm saying? You come into the place and you say, you know what? I could buy these green beans wrapped up in a can for, you know, $1.50. But the Mexican homie selling fresh ones over there at the Mexican mart or on a, in the, the farmer's market for a lot less. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I can never be a sucker again from Del Monte on the goddamn salty green beans that they fill your bitch ass up with all that sodium kill y'all motherfuckers with all that salt when you black people don't ever put that much goddamn salt on anything goddamn dumping fucking cups of salt on your green beans you ain't your mama ain't never put that much salt on shit the thing i'm trying to get you to understand is once you're neutered they took not only your ability to reproduce they took that keen insight that you have you ever notice that when you neuter a dog the the mentality of it changed you ever notice that when they spayed or spayed or neuter your pets that the temperament of the animal change, the personality of it change. He's not so wild. He's easily tameable because within your nuts is testosterone. The same testosterone that kicks motherfuckers asses. The same testosterone that is in a wild cat and a wild boar and they cut their fucking nuts because they know that is the source of rebellion. The source of I ain't gonna fall in line. Right? And they're all, oh, man, you know he's not civilized. All these words, homie, when they say you're civilized, it civilized only means that you're civilized to their way of doing things. So all of you neuter cats are civilized. 
because you don't want to hustle. You think the word hustle means dirty. You think the fact that you can create something of your own means that you're lesser than. I can go out there and persuade people. You, you hear the, 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 the words of a pimp. I can persuade people. I can do this. And that's not, to con motherfuckers is not a skill. To build is a skill. To con, persuade, and everything like that is, is, is something of and from the devil. That's where you hear the word persuade. Influence. It's never brought on because of good things. It's only included in negative. So the fact that you know how to con, persuade, influence people does not make you righteous. Doesn't make you good. In fact, you're more close to the devil because you cannot be frank and be upfront and be truthful. So you have to find a way to hide, to lie, to, to prey on people's mentality. And this is what they have taught you. But you can't con the dudes who taught you to con, which is the biggest reason why you're neutered. If they set up the game and they see your bitch ass coming, they are going to get you out of the game. They will make you not have a job. They will make sure you can't create. They will say, oh, you know, don't listen to Freeman and buy a $50,000 house. I can't live that low. I just can't do it. You know, I deserve this. And I don't care what Freeman say. Then they take your house. Then they take your kids, right? You keep marrying the wrong woman, then they take your kids. You got an 18-year sentence on your ass. It's because you believe in their shit, and that's what neuter does. You don't even trust your own fucking instincts. You hear me on these podcasts, and you say, yeah, Freeman is just a special dude. And, and some of you cats met me. I don't think I'm so damn special, homie. I just talk. We chop it up. You know what I'm saying? If it was a, a goddamn pastrami sandwich, fucking have a pastrami sandwich with me, homie. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't really that goddamn special. I just ain't been neutered. So when y'all hear this self-help people that y'all normally hear, y'all hear motherfuckers who keep telling you to, you know, what you should do is invest in stocks. And you don't even have any money. Don't listen to Freeman. Don't you think the bonds are too low? You don't got no fucking money. You ain't even save shit. You got to understand something, homie. Because you were born neutered. Because they clip your nuts in the crib, homie. Right? Most of us got circumcised. I think they cut your nuts. Right? Maybe we were born with three. And they took one at an early age. But they took something away from you. And you believe in their system. You don't believe in yourself. You think everything's harder. You think, oh, this must be the right way. When it's not, it's the white way. I tell you that all the time, homie. If, if this group of people controls the way the means of productions are, they're going to make sure you follow their rules. And I tell people all the time, it's not the right way, it's the white way. I've said that at jobs and got in trouble for it. It's not the right way. It's the white way. The more I look like you guys, the better it is. But they don't want me to come up with my own way. You listening to, to me, I bet some of you guys feel like, ooh, this motherfucker's rebellion. This motherfucker right here, man, he's a militant. This motherfucker, all because I'm telling you to do something for yourself. What's so militant about telling your kids to have his own ball and to play his own game and to set the rules of his own game? Oh, he's not a good follower and team player. You got to understand something. The reason why you don't, you're so scared, you keep looking for fucking reasons like I need motivation and I need inspiration and I need information and I need uh, <laughs> appreciation and whatever other motherfucking words y'all can come up with. The reason why is because they took a key component of you. And you can grow your nuts back, man. It ain't like it's a it's a it's a one-time thing. Only for animals it is. For us, they beat it out of you. They taught you another way. You can get it back. I'm gonna give you a simple way of doing it. Next time you think of starting a business, simple exercise. And you say, I gotta make at least ten thousand. I want you to cut that down to I, I gotta make at least ten dollars. And we will slowly work our way back to being the hunters. Because I just want you to make money. I want you to feel what it's like to make money. See, a lot of these dudes are going to tell you, oh, you know, you need to do this. That's why so many people jump in them MLMs. Because you can't even make $10. Because your bitch ass so scared to do one goddamn eBay transaction. So you say, I need to be over there. I can't make $10. And you let them tell you, oh, we're going to make thousands. And you feel like you're part of something, but you're a goddamn follower. You're neutered. 
In other words, you cannot produce for yourself. Now, if you tell me what neutered and not, I know there's a better way. It, it's the removal of, of the sexual organs and to stop them from having children and produce offspring. God damn it, let's just replace it with the hustle work. You cannot produce anything for yourself. You have been neutered. I want you to know that this is your key problem. I was going to make this a motherfucking book. That's how angry, I, I, you know what I mean? I get on this shit. Saying you're neutered. You know what I'm saying? I was going to put a picture of a Ken doll with no nuts. A smiling white guy with a, with a fucking blonde hair and no nuts. Because that's how you motherfuckers are to me. Uh, change yourself. Address the problem. Let's get this thing going. But this is your key issue. Not that you're not good guys. Not that your Jesus don't love you. Not because God has some magical plan for some and, and got shit for others. It's because you motherfucking neutered. Next time, partner.